He's like waving him over. He's like, look, we gotta take pictures, bro. Fudo's like, what do I do here? Hands at the sides, no peace sign. All right, handshake, perfect. That was well done. Fudo's, he's experienced, you know. He's done this once or twice. Hair's getting a little long here, though. He's gotta, he's gotta get that uh, haircut. I remember when I saw him and his hair was way too long. Why does Fudo always look slightly concerned? You know what it feels like when someone jumps out of your command throw? He has to live that life every day. All right. I'd be concerned too. Voldemort running around terrorizing the world. Fudo's concerned. He's got he's got things to handle. Oh, there was a loser semis match before Fudo played all the matches in a row. But yes, he does have to play losers finals in a grand finals. Early throw bait. Hold up forward in the corner. Who cares? You're out of there, right? That's all Fudo cared about right there. Block down jab. Jump out of there. Back strong. Block this. Jump back in case she tries to throw again. Out of there. Just get away. That's all. The whole goal of that situation is to get away. Back throw. You gotta watch her jump. Yeah, I was just gonna say, that's the most likely thing, right? Medium punch this time, right? No, he went for the medium because last time, wow, that was pretty, he's stunned. This is uh, an example of situational like awareness and recognition from Fudo. Last time he did throw into throw, in the first set, immediately NL woke up jab. So he goes for midi, Nadeshko this time, it's quick Nadeshko, cross up from downtown. Dizzy, I think he's dead because there's not that many hits on it for scaling, right? Yeah, you're hella dead. No, no meter. No anti air. Always hard to anti air cami, right? You want to just hit crouch medium punches Mika against everybody because it works all the time, right? It's just cami is one of the few characters where that doesn't really work that much. But your grounded normals against Kami aren't that bad, actually. Oh, he tried to slide V-Trigger. NL, beautiful read, man. How is he ready? Just like, as soon as V-Trigger starts ticking, he's like, yep, this perfect range, neutral jump. That was excellent. Mm-hmm. I think NL is doing a good job of mixing up regular jump and jump dive kick so that Fudo, yeah, he, he has to queue up an answer to the anti air. And that's when NL can just start dashing up in his face, right? Because, like, he's thinking so much of how do I anti air this? Is he going to dive kick? Is he going to do whatever? And then, like, you just do that. Wow, side switch ended up making him miss the, uh, the whatever. The dive kick, that's the one. He got jumping, uh, heavy kick. Mm hmm. EX to confirm out of the corner. You DP to build meter. Dead. Man, oh man. One normal goes awry, you just get smoked. You have to respect, when Kami has V-Trigger, the game really kind of slows down, right? Because you have to respect crouching heavy into activate. Uh, and then after that, you have to wait out the dive kicks. If you don't have a, an anti-air that beats dive kick, V-Trigger dive kick, it's like you just have to wait. Mika doesn't really have one, right? Nice. That was really good, actually. I'm surprised that beat dive kick. I thought he was going to command throw there. EX. Beautiful. That's like some pro Mika player strats, right? Who's calling me on the phone? Hold on a second. That's going to be a punish. Give me one second. All right. Cut that out. Here we go. Oh, it missed! All right, maybe my prediction, I lied. I'm sorry. Jesus. It was a uh, rip, repal Parbu. Just calls man when he's uh, streaming. Yeah, Fudo's getting steamrolled. <laughs> oh man, try to answer here again. That was uh, one of the most slick dash unders. I cannot believe Fudo blocked that. Yeesh. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he woke up DP, but I'm surprised that hit. It was pretty far away. I think he swung into it, but... V-reversal. This is okay. I actually think... Yeah, I was just gonna say. I think it was totally worth 
getting those, uh, spending V-Gage to get the negative frames, right? Yep. 50-50. As soon as you get hit by a forward medium kick there. 50-50. You either block and you get EX giant swinged, or you try to hit a button and jab into strong, counter hits you and you die. Man, he tried to hit a button after the hooligan dive kick. You have to respect hooligan dive kick. That's a pro throw bait. This guy is very experienced. Look at NL go. He's done this a few times. Down jab, walk back out of the throw, walk back in medium punch, right? That is really, really important. Caught the jump out. Yeah, Fudo is holding up on these situations a lot. Nice. Dive kick was spaced so low to the ground that it actually didn't hit. Oh, wow. Walk up throw. He knew Nadeshko was coming down. You see, Fudo has to do a lot of, yeah. He has to do a lot of, like, neutral jump anti-airs with Peach. He has to do a lot of walk back strong. He just did it right there. Walk back medium punch. To uh, so try and, yeah, to try to catch him walking forward throwing and stuff. 50-50 here. He's dead. Caught him jumping. See, <laughs> NL with the big head shake. That's the thing, right, is that when you get forward thrown by Mika in the corner... It's not as scary as it used to be, but it's still pretty scary because she can walk up medium punch, uh, walk up EX giant swing, she can crouching medium kick meaty, she can forward heavy punch if she thinks she's going to jump. Hey man, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Whoever's birthday it is today. It's somebody's birthday every day. No ants here? Cr neutral jump is where you can answer her there, right? Mm, he tried to hit a button at the last second. No ants here. That's a good choice. Giant swing, right? You just you know they're negative there. Oh no, he tried to move out to the medium punch, and Fudo just buffered it, right? He was like, whatever, medium punch into this. It'll only hit if you run into it. You see Fudo neutral jump there. He's looking to beat the dive kick. Are there any big tournaments coming up? Yeah, for a Street Fighter in particular, we have two premieres back to back: DreamHack, SCR. Tokyo Game Show is coming up soon. That's the same weekend as EGX. Wow, he hit medium punch and it hit him. That's crazy. 50-50, that's the same thing he did last time. Oh, man, that's crazy. As crazy as these uh, bits coming in. Thanks very much for the 200 bits. Crouching medium kick, activate. Whoop. Wingless airplane. Look at her. She is looking right up in Adeshko like, what in the... And she just gets cracked. Man, like three straight rounds for Fudo. Wow, he tried to walk back short strong, right, on the back, the back walk. Mm-hmm, he still hit a button there. It's because Fudo is doing that a lot, right? That was so good. He knew that he wasn't in range for heavy punch, so he did crouch and medium kick. Fudo's been doing a lot of, like, reversal command throw on the dive kick now, so he's doing a good job of still hitting a button. He's like, look, bro, frame trap me for real. Yeah, that's a punish. Big punish, too. Fudo wanted that V-Gage. Is he close enough to kill with throw? I think back throw kills. Got him. Oh, he went all in. He caught him trying to punish it. Uh-oh. He can win in one fierce and a super, I think. Walk back fierce is so dangerous. Ah, he caught him. Yeah, we're even here. This is a big match, right? 1-1 one, one in the set is pretty huge. As huge as that bid donation. Thanks very much, Dr. Phil. Damn, how much is that? Three, four, five, six, seven? Seven bucks in bits? Thanks, man. 700 yen? EX. Dude, EX Peach on neutral jump is such an important thing to do as a Mika player, right? He tried to walk back throw bait. NL was not having it. He's really established the threat of uppercuts. So, yeah, like, he can wake up jab a lot. He could have killed him. Oh, no. NL could have killed him. Oh, kill him. Yes. Recovery on the command throw is so long. That dash up command throw whiffs as the dive kick is whiffing. He whiffed crouch and medium kick. Walked up. Still punished. 
Dash up command throw is one of those things you have to read that your opponent's gonna sit still. And Cammy with V Trigger is not gonna sit still, right? Jump dive kick is such a it's such a why not move against a character like Miko. What is she gonna do about it? Force her to come up with some crazy V Trigger punish like he did the first time. Yeah, you see, trying to answer as Mika in this matchup can be tough. Beautiful. NL is so good about forcing Fudo to win. Wow, Antier, was that Jab that traded with Heavy Kick? All right, Wingless Airplane. But when he's Wingless Airplaning, that's like, you know, he's super focused on it. That's a clean punish. Fudo didn't have V-Trigger. Uh-oh. Yeah, crouching heavy punch, just in case. Got him. That makes the low confirm do so much damage. Noob question, when do you want to wake up buttons? I don't think that's necessarily a noob question. I think that's like one of the most fundamental skills to learn in any fighting game, right? Knowing when to wake up. You have to, the thing about wake up buttons is you don't wake up button. So your opponent tries to walk up and throw you. They try to like walk up and bully you with some real, like some setup that's not real. Then you wake up buttons to beat that. Then they're like, this dude's gonna wake up buttons. I'm gonna walk up and make sure I do a, you know, a media attack on his wake up. And you wake up uppercut, you wake up, you know, back dash. You just block. There's so many, it's like one of those things where making your opponent think you're just gonna do nothing is an important skill in itself, right? And also if you see that your opponent's doing whack setups that aren't real. Be reversal, you're chilling here. This is a really, Controlled round from Fudo, although jab jab. He just believed right there, right? Just believe in the three frame. Believe in the wake up jab. Sometimes you have to. You know, that's one thing that's really important against a dive kick character is a walk up block and just make the dive kick negative because you're closer to them. Hmm, that's bad news. Wow, wake up jab again. I wonder if he was, I wonder why his wake up jab is working. Is it because, anterior? Yeah, it hits behind the back. You don't have to worry about where she is. You gotta watch drop kick. She has good punishes for Kami V reversal in general. Back throw, you can meaty. Oh, he baited him, he should be dead. That's a lot of damage. All right, baits to throw fierce. Activate, fear, super. You get double fierce plus an Adeshko uh, body splash. What's a target combo? Target combos are like uh, dial dial in a combos, right? So a target combo is instead of like, you know, doing a jab into a jab, which is where you're linking them together, you are uh, dialing in two moves back to back. So they come out as like a chain. So if you've ever played like a Mortal Kombat game, uh, they have they have a lot of strings like that. A lot of people call them strings or target combos. I'll give you an example when uh, Fudo does like a target combo next. Kami has a target combo as well. That one right there, you just saw it. This is a target combo you see a lot from Mika. It's light uh, light kick, medium punch. It's a target combo. What is fussy and chicken blocking? I think you're thinking of a fuzzy. And chicken blocking is, that was beautiful. Uh, chicken blocking is usually in versus games, it's when you hold up back. Because when you block in the air, you don't have to worry about overhead or low mix-ups. So if you hold up back, you put yourself in the air, and you only have to worry about left to right. So blocking in the air usually reduces the amount of mix-ups you can get hit by. So that's why it's called chicken blocking, because you're scared, you're a chicken, you don't want to block on the ground. So you hold up back, put yourself in the air, and you don't have to worry about it. But chicken blocking loses the going low, right? If you go low and someone's trying to jump, you just get hit low. This right here is beautiful, right? Jab, walk. He gets hit by the down jab, walk back out of the throw. This is like one of Fudo's biggest strengths. Fuzzing refers to abusing your character's, uh, that's plus, uh, abusing your character's hitbox when they block something. Well, actually, fuzzing can mean a few things. Depends. Fuzzing in Tekken or like a string based game is different than fuzzing in like a game with instant overhead setups. Uh oh. Baited. 
Wow, you can dash forward and bait that? Or punish that? I didn't know that. V trigger. Man, that's crazy. I can't believe he woke up super. I'm so surprised he took that risk. Yeah, there, there's there's like fighting game glossaries you can look up, but sometimes you just gotta ask people's stuff, you know? What the hell is a fuzzy? People, people use fuzzing in multiple ways. Fuzzing can mean multiple things. Bomb bomb EK. See Fudo whiff jab and then do nothing. He's and he's buffering a lot. He's trying to buffer wingless airplane or EX Peach to anti air, right? That was sick. Made the dive kick whiff, got a grounded punish. Delayed Nadeshko. Fuck. <laughs> I got baited too, dude. Don't worry. That was sick. Nadeshko, walk back. Popped. And we got reset, boys. This is the only time Chicken blocking in Street Fighter 4? No. Was this last weekend? I think this was two weekends ago. To block the... To block the unblockables in Street Fighter 4, you just had to, like, block left right at the last second and hope you get right. It's not really possible. Fudo's like, yeah, it's a reset, bro. I gotta grab my water. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. There's no, there's no blocking in the air, so chicken blocking is not like a thing, right? If the game has air blocking, then you can chicken block. So Street Fighter V doesn't have air blocking, right? Could you imagine that? That'd be crazy. Just jump in all the time, air block the anti-air. The X-Men function. Man, he really wanted that walk-in, walk-back, medium punch, bait throw again. So reset... Fudo, I think he was pretty close to winning the first set that these these two played, but uh, I think the big the big difference is that he's a little bit more ready for anti-airs. Oh no, yeah, for sure. There was no way he was gonna do another one. That was a good try from Fudo, but NL he smelt it right. Is he gonna 50-50? No, yeah, I guess you just take wingless because. All right, that's pretty good. Dash up here. EX wingless airplane beats jump back. Right? And it's safe. So if you just do it and they stay on the ground, you just go flying across the screen. That's a crazy read. He was he was so sure he would jump, right? Because he fucking command through him like nine times that round. Damn. Food, that was like one of those rounds that can really, really affect the rest of the set. Because every time you're on the ground... Yeah, I like that uppercut. Every time you're on the ground, you're like, is this dude going to command throw me again? Buffer short strong. No punish, man. I don't know if she has a punish at that range against target combo, I guess. Man, Fudo not not getting hit by that crouching medium kick there really surprised me. He walked back for like a frame. Yeah, this is standing medium punch from Mika. Is such a it's such a good button. <laughs> right, standing medium punch. Hit confirms in an ex peach. It's minus two on block, but the pushback is. So far. She just, like, teleports away from you when you block it. Her standing medium punch getting pushed back was... A lot of Mika players are like, why would you nerf Mika? Oh, no. 50-50 here. Fudo kept it safe because he was trying to bait something, right? If he hits a strong in the EX Peach, you're dead. So, beautiful. Dash in behind the whiff. Man, oh man, that was a rough round. Rough game, actually, for NL, right? If you're NL, you have to try to shake that off because Fudo just opened up the set and was like, I'm going to command throw you like nine times in a row. That's like a really dangerous mindset because now you're like, all right, well, 
did he do that for one game or is he just going to play like that the rest of the set? Like, is he just going to command throw me like crazy this set? Like, you haven't figured out what he's made his mind to be yet. Standing medium kick is an excellent button. See this? Standing medium kick. Tries to do crouching medium punch. Crouching medium kick. Or uh, he tries to do another one, right? Loses to standing medium kick. It just depends on the situation whether you want to air to air or go grounded. Air to air is Bison's best option, so that's why he has to do it. Dash up. Yeah, he's done a lot of dash up command throw, so I like regular throw there just in case he jumps. He can anti air and then 50 50. Uh oh. What is that image that guy? Tw I don't know what that image is. Don't click on that. I don't know. You're getting a timeout. I don't know who you are. Robit. No! This is the classic. Short, strong to react to the dash. Punishable on block. But the pushback is so far. EX is so good. Man, standing medium punch is such an excellent button from Mika. Walk back medium punch is such a like. You just do it all the time. It's a hit confirm. Yeah, it's, you just you standing medium punch is plus enough to link EX Peach after. You can just hit confirm it every time. It's pretty easy actually if you've ever tried it. Combo, yep. Uppercut, jumped out. Yeah, that's right. Fudo was up 2-0. You have to be so careful here. Oh, I was just gonna say because. <laughs> Of the dive kick, but Fudo, no respect. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> it does so much damage. The V-Trigger dive kick really changes the way the match is played, right? Nice. Used it to anti-air. Tried to bait the uppercut. That was so safe, dude. Oh, man. That was really well done. This is, like, such a safe way to play the round, right? Back dash. Reset the situation. As soon as she jumps, the dash go. EX wingless airplane, right? With backup. Dash up. Block in case there's DP. And forward medium kick. So safe. This is exactly how the very first winter final set started, right? Up 2 0. Birdman hands. I feel like Fudo does Birdman hands a lot. Custom combos would be wild in this game. It would be, they'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> 16 hours of commentary in two days? That sounds like my Evo. Good. That was good to interrupt on the dash. I think instead of uh, interrupting the dash, NL has been doing a lot of, like, you know, nice hands here. And baited the DP there just in case. He's been doing a lot of, oh, I see the dash jump away from the command throw, right? And now he's trying to react to it a little bit more. It's hard. Custom combos. Think about Jury Feng Shui Engine or Yun Gen Engine. Just allows you to chain normals and specials together to get big combos. I think he's dead. Yeah. Loneliness? Man, that's this is how you have to play the ground game is both of these characters, right? Kami has great grounded buttons, but Mika has like good buttons to intercept you. Man, he is so good. Jump forward, good choice. Medium punch, medium punch is like it's not real, but it's kind of real, you know what I mean? 
I don't know if that makes any sense. It's not real because it's negative two, but the pushback makes challenging pretty hard. Uh-oh, he's getting close to dizzy. Buffering fierce, beautiful. He's not dead, but next it kills. So you just block or you just get smoked, man. I think he thought that was gonna cross up or there was gonna be a dive kick or he just stopped moving at the last second. Yeah, this is bad news. Fudo's thinking about it. He's like, all right. Last time I was up 2-0. He came back. What do I do now? See the 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 look on his face? He's like, all right. I got to think about this. Let's not uh let's not have the same thing happen again. Man, dive kicks it is such a pesky move, right? Even if the dive kick isn't always plus on block, like the threat of the dive kick makes anti-airing scary. Making anti-airing scary means that you don't want to hit ground buttons because you don't want to like, you know, lose to a dive kick. Nice punish. Wake up. I'm surprised he didn't clap to the corner. Command throw. He dies in one more like, one more of those. Uh-oh, he went for command throw. Man, he's been doing so much drop kick and a command throw. I guess he was respecting the DP a lot the first time. Wow, he tried to do down jab tick throw, but he got hit by the jab. That's huge. He just commit. Uh-oh, he's waiting him out on defense, and NL is getting a little too panicky, right? Like, backdash, Fudo just walked up, wasted one dive kick. You see him walk up and jump back to try to bait the dive kick? Perfect. This is Fudo's game, 100%, right? This is so hard. Oh, he could have done the XP. That was a great buffer. If you're Fudo here, you ba you just get away, right? You have V trigger on deck. You just buffer from super far. Crouching medium kick buffer. See that? He blocked DP there just in case. 50 50. Waited him out. Short strong. Oh no, he missed it. Ah. Short strong, unsafe on block. He just missed the punish. CPT premiere event. Congratulations to Fudo. Man, look at these fucking lights. This is crazy. Look at these nerds. These regular t-shirts while these guys are all suited up. <laughs> you know, these two said that they liked standing up and doing commentary, actually. That's interesting. I've done standing up commentary a few times. I think it's all right. If you're tired, standing up helps you be more energetic, I think. 